Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Friday, September 29th. It is a full moon today, full moon in Aries, and um, I'll tell you what, this has been a crazy week, and I think it's because, you know, we're having this full moon, and um, ooh, some cards just actually flipped out as I was talking. It was the tower. I told you, crazy week. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so let's see, uh, you know... I feel a little bit better this morning. I feel like whatever was building up this week finally has let go or has, has completed. I feel a little bit more better, like, oh, that was so intense. And then now I can breathe a little bit more again. But I'll tell you what, if you're feeling the same thing, then you're up. Oops, you're on the same path. You're on the same path, feeling the same stuff. So it's a bunch of cards that came out here. I'm not going to take them all. I kind of want to do these two right now. And I wanted to pull a card from the unicorn to give us guidance um, on this full moon as well. Like, here, there it is. So this is going to be our full moon reading. And the, the Four of Cups is a time of whatever was transpiring with this tower moment that happened this week or if you were fine that's great it, it the way the energies um impact us is based on our natal chart and <clears throat> where planets fall and where what house houses things are moving through in our in our natal chart and so if you know that and you you were good this week that that's awesome um but i think that this week was teaching us <clears throat> sorry my voice is uh cracking there so i think this week this it was teaching us how to go through these intense moments of our day and see the I see a new perspective about it because typically the four of cups is um, the divine handing a cup, uh, you know, a cup where that is a gift. So these intense moments this week for myself or whoever's experiencing this. This is a gift. You know, you, you, when we're going through this in the thick of the moment, we're not going to think that way. But in hindsight and pers perspective shifting here, let's consider this a gift and it eases it down. It eases the intensity. It helps us to reflect and to see it as, oh, I guess if this hadn't have happened, I wouldn't have known this. Or I guess if you know, if that wouldn't have shown me that this was not the right way to do it, then the, it would have still been going about the wrong way. Or, you know, there's no such thing as right or wrong, but, you know, in a way that wasn't going to be efficient or um, um, goal-orientated or results-proven. So I want to see what this unicorn card is real quick. Support. Ask for help, get more rest, and nurture yourself. So I think what this full moon was trying to illuminate within us is that we are supported through these turbulent energies. They are here to enlighten us. And that's what this Four of Cups is presenting to us. It's a gift. These, these difficult moments, these challenging moments, this turbulence that we are feeling as we go through our daily um, experiences, they're here to help us grow. And when we are in that moment, ask your higher self for help. Ask your guides for help. Um, I do a ritual every morning. I always ask my higher self to come in and talk for me, to take my action steps for me. I always say, I want my higher, I, I allow my higher self to respond for me. I allow my higher self to take my action steps for me. I allow my higher self to talk for me. And I do this so that whatever comes out of my mouth or whatever I respond to, um, it is in a higher version of myself. So number one, I don't beat myself up so much. <laughs> and number two, I know that the result of whatever's taking place is coming from a higher consciousness, not my ego, not a place of fear or flight or uh, anger or whatever's going on in that moment. I want it to be of a pure higher consciousness. So I invite that energy in and 
everything I do, when I do these readings, when I do um, uh, my, my work for my business and my family, I, I invite that higher part of myself in so that I know that there's a higher conscious taking place and it will result in a, the highest possible good for everyone involved. So that's what this full moon was doing. It was illuminating this part about ourselves that we can make it through this. We will get through this and we are supported in everything we do. We're not alone. This is not just us doing this. This is every single one of us going through this journey, this path of learning and growing. Wow. All right. I hope you have an amazing Friday full moon and happy October coming here in a couple days. So um, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.